What's going on guys, welcome back to 100% NUFC. So the day after Rafa Benitez was dismissed as Newcastle United manager, I've calmed down a little bit, but I'm still upset with the decision by the club to let Rafa Benitez walk away from the football club. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is just walking around the ground and just sort of talking about what's gonna happen now in terms of going forward. We're gonna talk about the managers that have been linked with the club over the course of the last 24 hours and the names keep on getting brandished around. So join us on the video. If you are new, don't forget to go along and subscribe, hit the like button and put your comments in down below. Enjoy. So six hours after Rafa Benitez was told he could leave Newcastle United, around about this time, six o'clock yesterday evening, many Newcastle fans protested against Mike Ashton, the owner, after the decision to let Rafa Benitez leave Newcastle United once his contract runs out on the 30th of June. And they protested in this area next to the Sir Bobby Robson statue, Milburn stand. And I have to say it was justified. If only I was there yesterday evening, I would have got some footage for you. But with other circumstances, things going on in life, I couldn't quite make it. But I have to say it was very successful. And Rafa Benitez gave the fans a lot of hope where there wasn't when Steve McLaren got sacked. So, you know, I don't blame the fans for protesting because I think now Mike Ashley his time as Newcastle United owner is up. So standing in the car park at St James's Park, the beautiful stadium behind me, we'll have to talk about the managers who have been linked with the Newcastle Port over the last 24 hours. It's not really something I wanted to talk about as a Newcastle fan because of Rafa Benitez leaving. I wanted to try and let the feeling sink in that we don't have Rafa Benitez as a manager anymore. And I just believe under Mike Ashley, no manager deserves to manage his football club while he's still here. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to go back while Mike Ashley's still owner of this football club. And if he is still owner of this football club, the only way I'll go back and watch Newcastle next season is if we get a manager on the same calibre as Rafa Benitez. If we get anybody worse off than Rafa Benitez, and I'm sorry, you're not getting a penny from me because at the end of the day, I don't want to watch another year of dross. I don't want to watch poor football with managers that don't have good you know, relationships with the fans. I don't want a manager that's cheap. I don't want a manager that doesn't have good tactics. I want a manager who we can feel connected to, like we did with Rafa Benitez. It's going to be tough, of course, whoever comes in, if it's Mike Ashley and George, because they're going to get you know, put under pressure straight away, just like Steve McLaren did, just like Alan Pardew did, and so on and so forth. Now, I want to talk about the managers that have been linked with Newcastle over the course of the last 24 hours. We're going to start off with Gary Monk. Now, Gary Monk, of course, has just left Birmingham City. He was sacked as of last week. And what do I think of this uh, rumour? I don't want it to happen personally. I've got nothing against Gary Monk. He seems like a decent manager, but he's not really a Premier League manager. I don't think he's really got the experience. Yes, he had a little bit of time with Swansea, but he didn't last too long there either. You know, he's had stints at Middlesbrough, didn't last too long. He had a stint with Birmingham, done well under the financial situation at Birmingham. Probably was unfairly sacked, but given the stature of Newcastle United, I still believe that we could do better. We need a stronger manager. We need somebody on the same level as Rafa Benitez. Next up, Miguel Arteta. Now, of course, Miguel Arteta hasn't really got any managerial experience. He is the second coach to Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. Of course, he will be still looking for a job you know, in football, but like any manager who hasn't got any experience starting in the Premier League, it's quite a tough ask. For someone like Miguel Arteta, I think he's got to try and challenge himself. Maybe he's in the Championship at the very lowest League One. It's a big risk, you know, managing Newcastle United given you know, the other circumstances. And I can't see... A, a guy in Miguel Arteta wanting to manage Newcastle, you know, under Mike Ashley. If he wants to be a puppet, then maybe he will uh, take charge, but I can't see that one happening. Uh, next up, Roy Keane. I don't want this man anywhere near St James's Park. For me, he's got such a toxic relationship with the fans. The fans absolutely hate him. I don't like him. Also, he managed Sunderland and he didn't last too long there. He didn't do too well at Ipswich and he hasn't really lasted too long in terms of. You know where he's been in management or if he's you know been assistant i mean he wasn't at Nottingham Forest very long i think he got let go uh it was a few days ago i think he ended up leaving but that would not go down too well uh with the fans but i wouldn't be surprised given that mike ashley's in charge that he would hire someone like roy keen in charge and if that was to be the case don't expect any fans to be at st james's park next season and uh next one eddie howe from bournemouth i really can't see this one happening unless we get a takeover Eddie Howe is a good manager. He's well-respected in the game. He's taken Bournemouth from League Two to the Premier League. 
They've had four successful seasons in the Premier League and I just can't see him working under Mike Ashley and his regime because even though he's been spending money at Bournemouth, he likes to challenge and there isn't any challenge you know, at Newcastle United at Bournemouth. Yes, he could probably only take them so far given that they're only a small club. They only have 11,000 capacity stadium, but he's been given the will to spend money to build on what he's already got. And he's well respected there and they've got an owner there that cares about you know, Eddie Howe in the squad and I don't think he really wants to leave the other fans behind after all that he's created there. Next up is Sean Dyche. Now Sean Dyche, it wasn't sort of mentioned on the TV or anything like that, but a lot of fans have been talking about him. I like Sean Dyche, but very similar to Eddie Howe. You know, he's worked under a, a strict policy at Burnley. You know, he's done well for them. You know, he's well respected in the game. He's well respected by the Burnley fans. And he's working, you know, with the project that he's been given by the Burnley board, which is to keep Burnley in the Premier League and keep them sustained you know, in the Premier League. And he's working, you know, wonders at that football club. But does he really want to tarnish his reputation working under Mike Ashley? I don't think so. Yes, it would be a bigger step up for Eddie Ayrsh. John Dyche, you know, coming to Newcastle from Burnley, but you really can't see it uh, working under Mike Ashley. And the only way Sean Dyche would come to Newcastle United would be if there's a project in place and there is money to spend, and that would, you know, require a takeover. And uh, next up, Jose Mourinho. Now, Jose Mourinho for me will not come to Newcastle under Mike Ashley, because for me, Jose Mourinho is a manager who was well respected in the game. Yes, he hasn't had it too well in the last clubs he's been at, especially Manchester United. Yes, he would get on really well with the Newcastle fans. And if Mike Ashley was here, then a lot of fans would turn back up if Mourinho was in charge of Newcastle United. But could you really see Mourinho managing Newcastle under Mike Ashley? Not really. You'd expect to take over. You know, you'd want to see Newcastle challenging at the right end of the league, which is, you know, the European positions, potentially Champions League or Europa League football, you know, challenging in the Cups. Um, of course, there's a lot more managers being linked with Newcastle. Of course, Avram Grant was linked uh, last night, but that's now been tarnished. I don't want someone like Avram Grant uh, at Newcastle United because I think his time is done in football. Next up, Claudio Ranieri. Now, Ranieri, don't get us wrong, he's a brilliant manager. He's a good guy. You know, I managed to speak to him for five minutes. You know, when he was Leicester boss, he went out to win the league. He went to, where did he go? Fulham didn't keep him up in the end. Uh, and then he went to Roma and somehow turned their season around. But for me, I think his time's done in football. I think we need to be going for a younger manager uh, with a potential takeover. So a no-go for Claudio Ranieri. So as I walk away from the car park, I didn't mention that we have also been linked with Mark Hughes and Tony Pulis. And I have to say they are a no-go for me because they don't really play the brand of football that we want. But I wouldn't be surprised to why they are in the frame for the Newcastle job if it's under Mike Ashley. Because as I keep saying, I'll say it again, we deserve a lot better. We need this takeover to happen right now. Right, so I'm at the Lisa's end now. I have to say a little bit about the Rock Bonita situation and what we do going forward now. I have to say we're not going to go forward while Mike Ashley is still the owner of Newcastle United. No big name manager is going to want to manage Newcastle while he's still here. The only way that we are going to attract a manager is if it's going to be below standard of Rafa Benitez and they're a puppet to Mike Ashley and Lee Charlie and they're a yes man to what they want as owners of this football club. But I'm not going to any games next season in giving Mike Ashley any more of my money because I've had enough. I haven't seen enough ambition there. And for me, getting rid of Rafa Benitez was the final straw. You know, I had a little bit of hope and that's what Rafa Benitez gave us. That hope is now gone. And as I've said before, whatever manager comes in under Mike Ashley, they're going to come under scrutiny straight away. And you don't blame the fans for doing that because at the end of the day, how can you charge Newcastle fans the highest price for a home shirt? How can you charge the fans ridiculous amounts for the season tickets and match day tickets when we don't get anything nice or anything good in return? We'll get dross. And if we don't get 52,000 fans there next season, you can't blame any of the fans whatsoever because, you know, at the end of the day, we're an absolute mess. And the only way that the fans are probably going to turn up next season is if we get a takeover, which is what we need with a decent name manager that's going to take the club forward. And I'm just hoping if we do get this takeover that we can somehow get Rafa back. But the longer it takes to get this takeover, the more that Rafa Benitez is going to take another job elsewhere. You know, you look at the Spain job, he's never managed his country before. You know, Rafa Benitez only wanted to challenge in the top seven, challenging the trophies. 
that's the right attitude to have. But obviously we all know Mike Ashley's a businessman, he doesn't care about the football club, never has and never will. He's been here 12 years and I just think right now Mike Ashley has to go. So I'm walking towards the club shop, just walking around the Gallagher beforehand and I have to say this is not a video that I really wanted to do. As all Newcastle fans I'm absolutely devastated, I'm gutted. It feels like we're hot, have just been ripped out by a owner who doesn't care you know, about the football club and its direction. It's like he's scared of success. And we could have had so much success under Rafa Benitez if he was given the right tools. And I think he's done well given the circumstances. Rafa Benitez, of course, all he wanted to do was to make a name for himself, to get Newcastle potentially into the top seven. It's not much to ask with a little bit of money and to give the fans something to be proud of, a team that we can support. Don't get us wrong. Last season's team, it didn't have a lot of quality, but it worked hard because they trusted in the manager. And we believed in Rafa Benitez because we trusted him, you know, throughout the season. Next season, we're not going to have that anymore. And we're going to have to come to a reality of that. And I will stand by my word, Mike Ashley out, because I've had enough now. Yes, I know you'll all say that we've said this before. And there's been talk of protests and that you've said, oh, well, you've said this in the past and you've done protests and they've never worked. But... I've seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of fans on Twitter talk about a potential boycott of the Arsenal game. I wouldn't just boycott the Arsenal game. I would protest in every single game next season if Mike Ashley is still owner. It's the best you can do. We can't do any more than that. There's no point lining Mike Ashley's pockets anymore and giving Mike Ashley the success that he doesn't deserve. Don't give Mike Ashley any more money because if you do that and you hit him in the pocket, then potentially he's going to leave the football club sooner rather than later. And uh, I have to say, you know, you look at the, you look at the, that decision there. That decision there is huge, on what Mike Ashley's done in terms of the fans potentially not going back next season. You know, that decision there on letting Benitez walk away. Financially for him, yes, he's going to say, well, I've got the money, but think about it, right? Next season, St James's Park. If you're lucky for a home game, it's going to be seventy-five percent full. The other 25% will not be there next season and you don't blame them given that there's no direction. A lot of the fans will probably just go to the away games and they'll probably just sit in the neutral end just to not give Mike Ashley any money because he doesn't deserve any of our money anymore. Like I say, I love this club. You know, I love and will always support this football club. But if I have to support this club from afar until he leaves, that's what I'll do because for now, he has ruined what could have been a good future under Rafa Benitez. If you just give him that contract that he wanted, give him the money that he wanted, Benitez may have delivered. Obviously, you can't guarantee anything in football. Football's a funny game. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, I'm, I'm still upset and I'm still confused, you know, at Mike Ashley because we're not going to get anybody bigger than Rafa Benitez while Mike Ashley is still the owner of this football club. He needs to understand that. I don't know how Benitez is feeling right now, but I'm guessing he's going to be good. Leave them out of dry as long as he did. I mean, did I really want to protest next season? Did I want to be part of the protests? No, not really. You know, I want to go to the football to enjoy it, but we can't enjoy it anymore because of what Benitez... I mean, for what he gave to the football club, but he's now left. And I think this is not a wake-up call to many Newcastle fans not until the next season, and I don't know what will. And this has to be a massive wake-up call now to Mike Ashley to leave and to give the club up to somebody else who's going to take the club forward. Because under Mike Ashley, we're going to go absolutely nowhere. And that's the stock reality of this football club. It's an absolute mess, man. I don't know what's going to happen now in terms of the takeover. It's gone very quiet. I'm just hoping that something's going to be said in the next week or two. I mean, the players are going to be reporting back to training in the next week. And who is going to be taking over? until we get a manager Neil Redfern and Sean Yobi they're going to be going to China we might as well just not go there whatsoever because we're not going to win that tournament let's be real you know what I mean like it's just devastating that we've had to be plugged through this but anyway I'll see you for the last part at the club shop you probably can't see it very well but as you can see I'm at the club shop they're promoting the new home top already what a surprise Mike Ashley's money making scheme now I have to say, and I will stand by my comments, that this is one of the worst home tops I've seen. As I've said before, it just looks rushed. 
it's got nothing to do with the 1969 Bears Cup win and there's no way I'm paying 65 quid to 95 quid for this top Mike Ashley can get stuffed well this is the last part of the video as you can see I've just shown you the new home top for next season from the club store and I have to say it's a money-making scheme from Mike Ashley to get the fans to buy the top next season after all that's happened I don't see any of the fans buying any of the merchandise next season because you don't just get rid of one of your best managers and then try and bribe the fans if they get a new top as I've said he has ripped the soul out of this football club this club right is rotten to the core and it's not something I like to say as a Newcastle fan because I love this club a bit and I have to say there's no future under Mike Ashley and I'll remain to say that and it's just upsetting really because at times you know when Rafa Benitez was here yes the football wasn't brilliant but at the end of the day he gave her you know a good successful season in the championship and he gave her two successful seasons in the Premier League given the circumstances given the budget given you know what he has to work with resource wise and you know next season we don't know what the future holds and that's a sad moment we're at at the moment as a football club um, you let me know your thoughts of what I've said in this video do you agree do you disagree let us know down below in the comments and let us know if you're going next season because I'll be interested to hear what you have to say about the whole situation regarding Rafa Benitez leaving and let's just be real when the new manager comes in they're not going to have the same love that Rafa Benitez got because like I say yes people will say Rafa Benitez could do no wrong maybe so because he came in with a good pedigree of winning trophies from his time at Liverpool he had a good spell you know at Chelsea winning the Europa League when he was unappreciated but he's also managed some big clubs in Napoli and Real Madrid it's just devastating man that we've had to really but that we've had to cover this you know Mike Ashley just needs to leave so like I say as it says in this video title Mike Ashley out like share comment and subscribe.